Hello, today we're gonna to take a look at progressing through wrist shot. So starting at the basics, and then adding a little bit of speed, some passes, and a little more technical stuff as we get going through. Starting at the basics with young players, every young player wants to go top corner. So what we'll see a lot of times are players just trying to get that puck up and flipping that puck. But as coaches and parents, we need to address that proper technique to begin. So getting those hands in a good position, so hip width apart, or that forearm apart, and keeping those hands away from our body, getting a player set up with that puck on the heel of their stick, so heel of their blade, and transferring that weight. So if it's a left-handed shot, we go from our left foot to our right foot, and making sure that they drive their shoulders to the net. Oftentimes, young players tend to come away from their shot. We want them to drive through their shot. And very important, we add a little bit of power to that shot by pushing with our bottom hand. I know at young ages, a lot of players don't have a lot of flex on their stick or can't generate flex, but we still want them to push on the ice when they're taking their shot. So following through and pushing with that bottom hand. So we'd begin with just players with pucks here. If you're in practice, you could have a bunch of players set up all the way across or along the boards, but working on that proper technique. Don't let them open their blade too early. Let that blade naturally open up as they're taking their shot. So if we look at it slow, we go heel to middle. We transfer that weight from our back foot so we can bring that puck back, heel to middle, and then follow through with that puck. The one thing we want to keep in mind as we're coaching this is we don't want this puck to be too far away from their body out here, too far in front of their body, or too far behind. This is the most common, the too far behind. Most times young players try to load it from way back here to generate more power and then follow through with that puck. If we can get them to bring that puck from way back here, even a couple inches up to here or to here and into that shooting box area beside our body or in front of our body right here, that's gonna allow them to have a way better shot down the road. And even if that shot's hard along the ice, we gotta reward that, because that's great. Way better to have it hard along the ice than flipping pucks up in the air. I know they're gonna score a lot of goals at young ages like that, but as the goalies get better, it's gonna be harder and harder. And the better the technique is at young ages, way better the shot's gonna be as they get a little bit older. So again, falling through, just heel to middle, push, and then follow through on the net. What we would do secondly from there is we'd add a little bit of speed to it. So now we're gonna have them skate into it. So as a left-handed shot, technically our wrong foot at young ages is gonna be our left foot. And what players do when they shoot off their left foot or their wrong foot as a lefty, they're gonna come in like this and their shoulders are gonna come back and they're gonna end up pulling that puck up. So we want them to drive forward. So a real simple way to do that is as they're skating forward, you're gonna get them to come in like this, get that puck in a good spot, they can bring it back a little bit behind their foot. They're gonna load their left foot and then push off their right foot. So they're gonna push their left foot and then shoot that puck off the right foot. So as they're coming through here, they're gonna load their left foot, so load it and push. And then follow through with that right. So again, you wanna break it down for young players and keep it real simple. As they skate in, we're gonna get them to glide on their left foot so they're gonna come in, they're gonna bring their puck back off their heel. So the puck's on the heel of their blade and off the heel of their skate. And they're gonna load that left leg, load it, and transfer that right leg, and then follow through. And right-handed shots would do the same thing opposite. So right-handed shots would load their right leg and then follow through on their left leg. And again, driving those shoulders to the net. So we'd add a little bit of speed to it, move all our pucks up a little bit higher, have players skate in, Get that puck set, load that back leg, transfer to the front leg. Then from there, we're gonna add a little pass. So if we had a pass for, let's say, a coach or another player. There's two most common ways we're gonna receive a pass in a game. It's gonna be across our body or coming from in front of our body. So if I, we'll start off with, with We'll start off coming across our body. So for young players, just getting a good target out front, stick addressing the puck, and then getting that puck, cradling it, loading that back leg, and then following through with the front leg. And again, we talk about addressing the puck. Even for young kids, we want them to start getting that stick on the puck side. So now they can cradle, load that leg, and then follow through. A lot of times players come in with their stick way out here and that puck comes across, and they end up losing it under the stick. Or, this, or it's a bad pass off their blade. So again, addressing that puck, so stick out here, little cradle on the puck, load our back leg, follow through, and then shot on net. And the last pass here would be coming from the bottom. So now if I was coming straight at the net and a player was passing the puck out the corner, same idea, I'd have my hands out front addressing that puck, I'm gonna catch it, load my back leg, and then follow through on the front leg. So coming in here, hands out front, I'd catch it, load my back leg, 
and then follow through out front. So one more time, same idea. So my hands are out front here. I catch it, load my back leg, and then follow through out front. This is an easy progression for young players, just working on starting that wrist shot and coming through as they're moving. But even with older players, NHL players, we'll start with just stationary shooting for accuracy, just working on technique, getting shots on net. Then we push pucks back a little bit, have them skate in a couple strides, get that shot. Again, working on accuracy, quick release, good technique. Then we'd add some passes to that. So being able to accept the pass, because you can't shoot a puck until you accept that pass. So being able to accept that pass the right way, get it set, and then good shot, and then we'd work on stuff low to high. So passes like we were doing here from a low spot to a higher spot, catching that puck and releasing it. All those technical pieces of keeping our hands in good position, our hands away from our body, our blade cup, all that's gonna be able to translate from the young ages as we get older and older and move through hockey. On a cross body pass or a cross ice pass on the backhand for young kids, we need to teach them how to use their backhand. And I know since I was a kid, we were always told to cradle a puck, but it's really hard to cradle a puck when you're going fast, especially you're coming in an area like this where you want to shoot, and then now that puck's going to be way outside my body here. So what we want young players to do is smack back on the puck. So as the puck comes, the pass comes across, we're going to smack back on the puck. Now our puck's in that shooting box. I load my outside foot, back foot to front foot, and then release that puck. And if we look at that smack real quickly, my hands now are going to be away from the puck and I want to let that puck come through my feet. If I go on that puck too early, so the pass comes and I go too early, that puck's probably gonna hop on me and now it's in a bad spot for my shot. If my hands are away from my body, my blade's cup, now I can smack it, get it set, load my back foot, transfer my front foot, and then let that puck go. If young kids at young ages can start to learn how to use their backhand, that's gonna be a huge asset for them in the future. There's a quick look at a progression on wrist shots. You can use this for any shot, but starting stationary, working on technique, keeping it really simple, then adding a little bit of speed, a little bit of skating to it, then adding a pass, you can add an extra player for an obstacle to go around. But progressing through the basics into a little more difficult, a little more difficult, a little more speed is gonna be huge for a player's learning curve on any kind of shot.